Hello everyone, today we are going to install Magento 2 with sample data on Mac OS X El Capitan version 10.11. Okay, so let's do this. First we are going to the Magento site, into the download section, which is here. select format we select zip version uh, we click on download okay meanwhile while it's downloading we are going to download the mysql server which is here The downloads my SQL. Choose archived version, community server, version 5.7.15, uh, which is compatible with Mac OS X 10.11 or Capitan. I'll save that too. Okay, so meanwhile, while it's downloading, we are going to prepare the Magento files. And we are going to extract them with the terminal. Okay, so... To the bash. And the extreme is a good password. Mac OS X has um, Apache pre-installed, which is good. So we are going into the directory, which is here, library, web server. Okay, so. Documents. Okay, there's not much in here, so we are going to extract all the files into there by typing unzip users, your username, downloads, and then Okay, it's extracting the files. And then we need to prepare them and give them full access, full permission. Um, yeah, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so now we are going to give full permissions to those files. Well, Commands and th mod sensor five into documents. Okay, now we need to enable the rewrite module in the httpd config file. This is how we're going to do it. Two and I'm going to type HTTPD conf. Now search for rewrite module. Yeah, just this one. Mod rewrite source. We remove the hash deck. In the same file, we are going to search for allow override in the directory. Which is not 
is one, but the web server documents directory. This one here, yeah. I'm gonna put here all. Allow override to all. Perfect. So, um, the next thing we're gonna do, we are going to check. Um, which version we have of the PHP um, documents okay we're going to create a file php info.php this line onto it. PHP echo. Mm, PHP echo. PHP info. Oh, like this. Okay, we are going to. Save this file. So if we type in now local host PHP info 5.6 is the version. Okay, so now we have to create the MySQL database, but before that we want to be sure that our PHP is the latest version. We are going to uh, issue this command, uh, which I put here. 5.6 latest. Yeah. Extracting the files. Installing the package. Okay, this is gonna take just, yeah. There we are, so I wanted to install versions 5.6.27. Now we are going to install the MySQL database by typing the following commands. Um, yeah, we download the package. First we have to activate it. Click Install. Yeah, the password is important. We will save it for later. Um, which is here. Okay, save and we will install it. We will activate it now mm, by clicking here. Remove automatic. Start my SQL server. Okay, it's running. Let's create a database. Yeah, so... 
I'm going to type in the following command. MySQL uroot minus p. There you go, so the password. There you go. Show databases. Let's reset your password. Okay, let's do that. Set password is choose an easy password. Just like that, demo. Okay, let's do it quickly to three. Okay. Then we type create database magenta two. And all on magenta two. Two magenta two at localhost identified by demo one two three. Okay, show databases. There you go. So now we have the database, we're going to try localhost and see if we can start installation. Okay, this is the welcome screen. Click on agree and check. Wow, all check are complete and passed. So we can click next. Local host, yeah, root, yes. I would say demo one, two, three. It's the password, database name, magenta two. Table prefix, not necessary. Okay, here we have the admin URL for the backend. Just copy it and save it here in the file. Yeah, just like that. Click on next. Next. Uh, okay, I can put demo one two three with whatever you like. Uh, demo one two three because this is a demo. And we click on install now. Let's see what happens. Instances. Sample date. There you go. Boom shakalaka. Success. Okay, here we have all our information. Blah, blah, blah. So, let's try uh, backend. Okay. Welcome to Magento. Demo 1, 2, 3. And That looks nice. All the new layout of the back end, which is very interesting. Okay. There is our home page. Yeah. So 
we're gonna stop this video today you saw how we installed Magento 2 and uh, yeah, I wish you a good day good evening good afternoon maybe good morning and bye bye